When I watched the first episode of The Smiling Friends, I didn't really like it. The hopeless nihilism of Desmond that I really struggled with. And even when I binged it initially, I skipped the episode. I worked up the courage to watch it, and I really love it now. You know, it's a pilot episode, so it's about establishing the formula and the characters. And I think it does a really effective job of that. Billy and Pim go out and try and cheer Desmond up, whose life has cratered. And the first episode is really Pim trying to make the case for life and that it matters in some way. And he goes over the wide swath of the human existence from family to friends to fun. Desmond finds no joy in any of these things. It works well as a pilot because it has the characters trying to desperately justify their lives to strangers. Because the whole time this is going on, Pym is losing his faith in the pleasure of being alive. Desmond's nihilism is seeking its black tendrils into his mind. It doesn't help that Pym's family life seems absolutely awful, full of angry, violent misanthropes. When Pym tries to go out to a party to make new friends for Desmond, and everybody makes it clear that Pym is aging out of fun and joy and getting to hang around other people. And he should just be like his dad, sit on a recliner, drink beer, and yell at the TV. Charlie's fine, though. Don't worry, it all works out in the end. Desmond doesn't use his gun. He discovers a love of violence. There's these tiny little things called the bibbles, They're like pests in this world. Desmond ends up shooting one, and he finds that the lust for battle fulfills him. Is this a happy ending? Desmond has found joy in his life by killing small animals. Listen, he's smiling, and the smiling friend's purpose in life is to get you to smile. 